Good morning, everybody. First of all, I'll present myself. I am Ines al I am from Tunisia. Uh, I am a doctor and a researcher affiliated with the research laboratory OLID. I will present a part of my research, uh, current research study entitled Solving the Patient's Scattering Problem in the Emergency Department uh, of the uh, Tunisian Habib Bourguiba Hospital using genetic algorithms. Nowadays, the management of hospitals in Tunisia is very complex. This is due to uh, the important number of incoming patients, the emergency degree of uh, patients, and uh, the uncertainty and dynamism in all over the healthcare process. As a result, many problems related to healthcare emerged. Uh, among these problems, we can uh, see the scattering of patients in emergency departments. Some, uh, in the literature, uh, there exist some uh, optimization methods that have been developed for patient scattering. However, these method, uh, methods uh, suffer limitations related to uh, the reduction of uh, uh, patient's uh, waiting time uh, from its arrival until uh, its uh, uh, hospitalization and uh, the scheduling of patients in emergency department. In this uh, research study, uh, our objective is to solve the patient's waiting, uh, the, the, to solve the patient's scattering problem in order to guarantee uh, a schedule uh, of patients in emergency department to reduce the patient's waiting time and while taking into consideration the need of physician uh, resources for each patient and in each service. Research studies in healthcare systems uh, scattering uh, can be categorized uh, into two main families, research scattering and patient scattering. The healthcare process uh, in emergency uh, departments uh, begins by the arrival of a patient uh, which can come either by himself or by uh, the ambulance in emergency situations. Then a triage process uh, or a triage phase will be done for each incoming patient uh, based on its emergency degree in order to determine uh, its care process. Uh, the uh, priority is here given for the serious situations. The care process is almost the same for emerged and non-emerged cases but the main difference is uh, in, the uh, in the administrative process. In fact, for non-emerged uh, cases, the administrative process will be treated at the beginning of the care process, reverse to, uh, reverse to the emerged cases, in which administrative process will be treated after finishing the care process. After the triage, uh, process, each patient will be passed for a normal uh, consultation uh, by a doctor who can request for supplementary analysis and based on this analysis, um, uh, the uh, analysis results, he decides either to care this uh, patient by, by himself or uh, to ask for uh, uh, a specialist. In both situations, the patient uh, can go uh, at home or be hospitalized. We have treated uh, the uh, patient scattering problem in a real case, uh, the uh, Habib Bourguiba Hospital, the case of Habib Bourguiba Hospital. So, uh, the Habib Bourguiba Hospital is a Tunisian hospital. It is situa uh, situated in this back city. Um, the, uh, geographic, uh, location, uh, the geographical location uh, of this city uh, makes that the situated uh, study at the department uh, polarized a great number of patients uh, of the public highway. In addition, uh, as the second industrial and uh, economic pole sheltering various companies, uh, the number of uh, the work casualties in this city is growing continuously.
The Habib Bourguiba Emergency Department is composed of two K rooms, uh, two post offices, uh, one general surgery uh, um, uh, room, uh, one orthopedic room, and one visiting uh, medical room. The average number of incoming patients to this department is about 300 uh, uh, patients per day, and the total number uh, of personnel uh, in this department is uh, uh, 13. The Habib Bourguiba Emergency Department has a major problem uh, which um, uh, uh, concern uh, the, the very important uh, patients' waiting time, which affect the, uh, the performance and the quality of uh, service of this department, as well as the unsatisfaction of patients. It uses a first-come, first-served method uh, for scheduling incoming patients. Uh, the principle of uh, this uh, method uh, is to, uh, to schedule and then serve patients according to their order of arrival. And uh, it does uh, not uh, uh, integrate diverse criteria such as the emergency state of each patient and the disponibility, the disponibility of the staff and uh, the material resources. In other words, uh, the output uh, uh, of the triage process corresponds to the input of the proposed scheduling model, which determines the scheduling of patients in emergency department at a predefined planning horizon. The parameters of our proposal model are as follows. Uh, as follows. Uh, T is uh, the time period. Uh, I correspond to the number of patients at uh, time period T. G is, uh, is the set of services. K is the set of uh, physician resources. Uh, Ri is the, the read time of patient E. Uh, P, uh, Ig is uh, the treatment time period of patient E in service G. K, E, G, uh, Ig is the physician results required for patient uh, I for uh, service G. Uh, y, Ig uh, is uh, the waiting time of uh, patient uh, I go to service G. And uh, SIG uh, is the start time um, of service G go to patient E. The different indices uh, used uh, in this uh, model are uh, I is the index uh, of patient, uh, G is the index of service, T is the index of time period, and K is the index of physician resources. The decision variables are uh, x i g uh, k t uh, is equal to one if uh, patient e uh, is affected to serve uh, service g and served by physician resource k in time t uh, in time t uh, and zero other. We present here the proposed mathematical model. So the, object, uh, the objective is uh, uh, to minimize the total waiting time uh, uh, of patients in the uh, emergency department. Constraint to ensure that uh, the start time of service G is uh, bigger than or equal uh, to the ready time. In constraint uh, in uh, constraint two, uh, process uh, are completed in order. Uh, in other words, service uh, G, uh, G plus one starts after the finish of uh, service G. And uh, constraint three, uh, make sure that each patient is scheduled exactly once uh, to each uh, research for each uh, service and uh, ensures that each uh, resource is uh, only used by one patient at a time. Faced to the complexity of the patient scattering problem, full-sized uh, issues cannot be so, uh, resolved within a reasonable time. Hence, approximated methods seem to be effective when such a space is complicated. These algorithms are used to solve combinatorial uh, optimization problems to achieve near-optimal solutions in a reasonable execution time. 
genetic algorithms is one of the most efficient and well known of these methods. We propose to uh, apply uh, it to some of the studied patients studying the problem for many reasons. Uh, first of all, genetic algorithm has demonstrated uh, its efficiency uh, see, uh, in different uh, problems in the literature. It is then a population-based uh, meta heuristic uh, which allows uh, a better exploration of the feasible solution space. So, uh, genetic algorithm is an algorithm inspired by the living um, uh, 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 beings uh, evolution theory from a biological context uh, species uh, adapt to their living uh, environment, uh, which can uh, evolve uh, individuals of each species reproduce, uh, thus creating new, new individuals. Some undergo uh, changes in their ADN, some others disappear. So, uh, this figure uh, presents uh, the different steps of the genetic algorithm. Uh, the first step is uh, to, uh, to uh, initialize a population of uh, solutions, uh, then evaluate this population by calculating the object fun function value for each individual from the population, and uh, which is the patient's waiting time in our case. Then, while the stopping criteria is not uh, reached, do select two parents of the population and apply uh, the crossover and the mutation operators of these parents and then replace all the uh, individuals of the uh, old population part by the new individuals. And finally, evaluate the new obtained population. Uh, in our proposed algorithm, the solution is uh, represented by the schedule of patients in a given treatment room. To illustrate uh, the structure uh, of the solution, noted uh, also the uh, chromosome in genetic algorithm, we take the examples of uh, 16 patients to be scheduled in three treatment rooms. In this case, 10 patients are affected to the first treatment room in uh, the time t. Uh, a chromosome in this uh, example represents the schedule of uh, the 10 patients in the given treatment room in the time period t. So, uh, as a conclusion, in this research study, a mathematical model has been presented um, for scheduling of patients at emergency departments. Time is uh, considered as the most considerable factor in emergency departments. For this way, uh, the primary goal is to mi minimize the patient's waiting time. A genetic algorithm has uh, been proposed to solve this problem. The integration of uh, the uh, triage process in, this, uh, in the proposed model uh, will be treated as a future study. Another prospect concerns also the evaluation of the performance of the genetic algorithm uh, approached by its comparison uh, with other artificial intelligence-based methods as the uh, artificial big colony meta heuristics, uh, meta -heuristic or the case-based reasoning heuristic. Finally, thank you for your attention.